Hi, my name is Jonas and I'm bringing you another Unreal Engine tutorial and this time we will try to make this uh, project we are working on with the camera boom into a nice true first person experience. So let's first take a look at what we have. Uh, we have this character and we can zoom in smoothly and then we ins end inside his head and here's a few problems which we will have to tackle. Uh, first of all, kind of inside his his head, and it's not really looking good. And the other thing we talked about is that he can actually turn his head all the way around, and that's not something you can do really. And the third thing is that you want to have some kind of head bobbing going, so it kind of looks like you are looking from inside his eyes. So all these three things we want to make in this video. So let's take a look at it. So, if we come inside, uh, inside the camera zoom, um, there's a few things we can try to do and one of them is to maybe change this minimum, whoops, minimum clamp value to something so we can go through his head. So let's try this out first and this will cause a problem maybe. So, once we're in here, uh, it looks almost okay. And the thing is, and when we s switch or uh, swing all the way down, we are ending up kind of <laughs> now in the middle of his body because uh, the rotation point is around his head, kind of. Um, so this is not really a good idea. So let's switch this one back to zero. One other thing we could do is, and I think this is the way we will go, um, is to add another camera to this character and let's call this first person camera all right so this first person camera i want to attach to the mesh so it becomes a child to the mesh and i want it also to be uh, connected to the head so if i come up here and find the head did i scroll past it Okay, I'm missing it. There it is. So now we have this uh, cam camera uh, attached to the head. And when we switch to the viewport, we can see that the camera has been added and it's kind of off uh, place and switched uh, around to the side actually, it looks from this. So, um, yeah, let's first of all zero this out and zero this one out and zero this one out. So now it's it, it's inside his head kind of, and uh, the rotation is still off. So I think this is. I want to turn this around minus like this, yeah. So now it's looking through um, from inside his head. So if we play uh, this, we're still uh, looking through the third person. So uh, we can't really um, preview this yet. We need to do something else first. Uh, if we come into the camera zoom, uh, let's do something about this. So when we reach um, a certain threshold, uh, let's say around zero, um, and so we we are getting close to first person, um, we want to switch to the camera, uh, the first person camera instead. So let's say less than or equal. So and let's not say zero because that's going to take a little while to reach exactly zero. So since we're stepping uh, 50 uh, centimeters at a time, so when we are almost halfway to zero, then we're going to switch to uh, to first person camera. So we do that by taking this uh, first person camera, down, drag it down here, and then set active like this. And I'm going to connect this one up like this. And we could use some kind of branch or something, but we already have a bool value here. So uh, if this is less than, then we want to make this active actually. So let's just make use of that. Um, we also want to do something else. Um, we want to set uh, the rotation yaw. Now let's wait with that. Let's wait with that. Uh, we want to disable, uh, on the contrary, the 
a third person camera, or the follow camera, which is down here. So set active and uh, plug this one in and negate this one, not boolean this one. Uh, put this into active. So we're basically switching these depending on this value here. So let's test this out now. We should have something that at least works a little bit. So when we reach uh, a certain threshold, you can see pop. We're inside the set now. So all kinds of uh, weird movement going on here now, and that's just kind of because uh, yeah. And one thing you can't see, but I try to move my head up and down now, and that's not possible. Uh, so I can uh, look from side to side, uh, and well, the controls are not really working anymore. So that's why we need to set uh, something more. So let's drag this one out a little bit, so we have some more space. And in between here, we want to set something else called also um, use control rotation yaw. So we want to use the control rotation yaw if we are um, in first person. So we can also drag this one in. Maybe. Damn. Can't make this one perfectly straight, then I don't want it. <laughs> All right, never mind. Sorry. Um, so let's test this out first, really quickly. How does this look now? Uh, it did not have any effect. We still cannot uh, look. Um, could be because we are missing a really important thing. Uh, self. Get a reference to self, and might have to set this one. That, is, that looks different. Okay, let's try this. Okay, and this one. All right. Hope this works. <laughs> and it doesn't. That's weird. Huh. Um, I'm apparently missing something. Um, what am I missing? Use rotation controller, y'all. Oh, I know. Something else. Uh, our first person camera. This is uh, use pawn control rotation. We need to set that, of course. So let's check that. That was a kind of embarrassing mistake. So uh, let's zoom in again. So now it looks different. Uh, we have a little bit of head bobbing going on and uh, now we are well we are inside his head but you can see now we can't turn our neck around like we could before so let's adjust the camera a little bit to make this a true first person experience so let's say like hate these weird numbers they come up with zero zero and let's say 20 units uh, in front that should be kind of whop like this so we have a pretty good first person experience now and you can see his head when you look all the way up but we could yeah adjust this a little bit by moving the head even further uh, the camera even further uh, in front or something um, and kind of looks cool when you jump also uh, so I'm pretty satis satisfied with this and yeah it's a good starting point to uh, try and build something uh, true first person um, which you could also use for some kind of multiplayer and before I leave uh, there's actually one thing that uh, you may notice if I look down the intensity there's some kind of eye adjustment going on uh, and you can change this um, on the camera inside the first person camera here yeah camera settings we have something called min max brightness if you check these two and just set them both to the same value like one and one you should get rid of that auto adjustment so 
if you are looking to play make some kind of a um, horror movie or horror, horror game or something uh, you don't want this um, adjustment happening all the time because if you have a flashlight and stuff it will affect the, um, the lightning all the time so I think that's it for this tutorial I hope you liked it and um, what is it they say uh, leave a comment like and subscribe and all that stuff if you would like to see more so for now thank you and bye